I have a lot of sensors that use batteries. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage them all. So I've got a lot of sensors around, as if you've been following the channel, you might have seen quite a few of them. Now there's one right here, here, but there's a lot more and they all use batteries. So I was sort of, well, I got to a point where they'd stop working and oh, I've got to change the battery. And they say they should last two years, but do they really? Like you don't know because you know, how often do they report, connect, blah, blah. There's a lot of variables. So I thought, how do I manage it? How do I get somehow how do I know when the batteries need changing without having to constantly worry about it? Not worry, but you know, suddenly finding that my sensors have stopped working. So this video is about coming up with a solution for how to do that. Okay, so my solution that I'm gonna walk you through has two parts. One is some way of seeing uh, which batteries are low, and the other part, number two, is getting notified when batteries are low. So those are the two parts. And again, if you have an addition or a better way of doing this, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. So we are here in Home Assistant. This is my climate screen. You see there's a bunch of sensors here, Lego room temperature, server cabinet sensor, etc., etc. They are all battery powered. Well, almost all. The media room actually isn't because that's a Sensibo, which can control my air conditioning system as well. But that's not battery powered. But a lot of it is. So. My first step is to knowing when batteries are low. So I've cheated a little bit so you don't have to look at everything, but I'll explain to you exactly what I've done. So on my system tab here, you can see on the right here, I have a bunch of percentages and sensors. Now you see some of them are showing 100%, etc. But I'll show you the key here or the, 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 the clever bit. So we're going to edit the dashboard. I'm going to edit this part here. Now, this is an entity list um, or entity card, entity list card. And, but th this one is an entity filter card. So it's slightly different. And I figured this out, or I found this, when I was setting this up. So this is all YAML. There is no visual um, editor for it, as it says as well. But the only way I can do this, and there's a little bit of a concession here. It's not as perfect as I'd like it, but let me explain. So the idea is that you, you show a bunch of uh, entities and then you filter them based on some condition. For example, it could be only show me all the lights that are on or off, for example. Now in this case, I have entered all the entities that have a battery. So you can see here, sensor, carport, motion sensor, etc, 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 in YAML. And then I have a state filter. So the state of a sensor is the battery level or sorry of the of the entity of the battery level the state is the actual battery level uh, number percentage so the state filter i've added is less than or equal and then a hundred which will show them all now let me show you what i would do to show this i would actually put this at let's say about 40 and you can see here it won't show anything there'll be nothing there which means hey there's nothing that's low on battery if, for example, I wanted 60, I can put in 60, and you can see some of them will then show up. So you have this filtered entity card, which is very, very neat, and it's a very quick way of seeing it. Um, now, the concession I was talking about is that I do have to enter every new sensor that I get into this card, otherwise it won't pick it up, unfortunately. And I'm saying unfortunately because the next step, which is the notification, I can do it automatically. So, but this is the first step. So this let me see hey, which of them are low in case I want to check. I'm gonna put this at 40 because as we get to the end, there's a couple of little issues I've found. Um, but 40 will seem all right for now. I'll save that. And you can see it's just an empty entity filter. Now I might just wanna give this a title, etc. But for now, that'll do. So there we go, I know where it is. Okay, done. The second step is the notification. So I want to know on my phone, I want it to tell me, hey, some of the sensors are low. Let me show you the solution I came up with. So I'm using Node Red. And if you want to know what Node Red is, there is a video on that too, which is like there. And when this loads, 
Node-RED is a flow editor or automation flow editor, but it's visual and it's really cool. It's very clever. If you haven't used it, I would go ahead and use it. So I have all sorts of flow here. I have for outdoor lights, etc. There's a tab for each up here. Now you can put them all in the same, but I like to organize my things a bit better. Here's one I've called batteries. So in this case, I have a timestamp. This is a trigger. So if I double click on that, you can see here it runs every 24 hours, right? Every 24 hours. Let's just change that to every one minute, just so you can see. I'll click on done and I can deploy that and then it'll start running every minute. Now I have get battery levels. This is the clever bit. This took me a little while to figure this one out. So if I double click on that, get battery levels. This is just a get entities node. So this is a standard node red um, component or node that you can use called get entities. And in this case, I'm looking at the entity ID like that. And I'm saying it is, and then I can use regex. So there's various things you can use here to filter or select your entities in node red. So I'm using the regular expression and I'm saying, give me everything with battery level. Now you might, so, hey, how do you know it's got battery level in it? Well, my sensors right now have the word battery underscore level or, or the, the string. So that works for me. What happened when I just put battery in? It was picking up my phone battery, my phone battery's temperature, my phone battery charging voltage, etc., etc. I did, I got everything battery, not what I was interested in for this particular automation. So I got battery level and that works for me. It might be slightly different for you or maybe you have to put in a, you know, make a concession and say, well, I'm just going to have everything with battery level. And then I want the state of that to be less than 40. As you can obviously, you know, you want it to be less than 40. That's the, the battery. So that's when I get a notification. And that's what I also put in my card, less than 40. So those two. But what this does is that it, whenever I add a new sensor, it'll pick that up as well if it has the attribute or the entity ID of battery level, right? So that's kind of neat, I like that. Unfortunately, I can't use regex with selecting the entities for the card. I know, it sucks, but so be it. Um, there we go, so I have that. I can then deploy that as well, not that I changed anything. Um, then I check for objects because I only want to notify me if I have anything. So then I just say, it's not empty. You know, there's the selection there, that's it. And then I notify my Pixel 5. And then there's a, a, a data attribute or data payload here, which has, i just look at it a bit bigger, a message, one or more sensor batteries needs changing, and a title, which is sensor batteries are low. So that is what my phone will get. Now, ideally, I wanted to put in which sensors were low. But for some reason, I couldn't get it to iterate through the array because it returns an array because it could be multiple and show me that attribute unfortunately. So if you know how to do that, let me know. I am not a node red expert. But those are the two parts to my battery level management system. Again, pretty simple, I think. I hope you can use it. Um, and if you have better ideas, do let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this content, little tips and tricks as well as bigger projects. Um, and I will see you in next video. Yeah.